Once upon a time in one of my streams, someone was asking if I have an updated build for the Demon Lord Beast Buster with Fatalis Armor. I can't let the chance of earning cents from ad revenue slip away, so I shamelessly went to my own channel and tried to find a video of it. Guess what? There's none. So why not make a build video in Iceborne in 2021? We are going to use Fatalis Armor. You can fit in numerous skills, especially when you're building around stickies. First, the light bow gun. The best sticky light bow gun is still the aqua shot from Safi Jiva. The skills you need to roll for it are as follows. The augments will be one attack and one health. The mods will be two recoil and two evade reload. Now that we've discussed what light bowgun you need and how it's built, let's talk about armor skills. True spare shot via any four piece fatalis combination, artillery level 5, free element level 3, attack 7 plus peak performance level 2. Now I really favor having attack and peak performance over agitator in a sticky setup because you have better uptime. The damage bonus is already acquired the moment you start the fight, unlike Agitator, plus you don't benefit at all from the affinity increase. Having attack 7 and peak performance level 2 in your build already makes you reach the sticky cap. Given that you ate 4 attack up large, feline bombardier, used demon powder, mega demon drug, and might see, and also have power talent on your inventory. Given those conditions, any more raw boosting skills would be wasted because it will not increase your sticky damage further. These are the mandatory skills that you should have. Once you have filled them in your build, I'm pretty sure that you will have a lot of leftover slots. I will leave that up to you. If you want to go for slugger, earplugs, tool secret, evade extender, evade window, it's all up to you. The beauty of a sticky set is their freedom to make different variations. Next up is the Heavy Bowgun. For Heavy Bowgun, it's the Demon Lord Beast Buster. The augments will be 1 attack and 1 health. The mods we'll be using are 4 recoil mods for that juicy fire rate of Sticky 3. The 5th mod for this gun would be Long Barrel or a shield mod. Armor skills. Through spare shot via any 4 piece Fatalis combination. Artillery level 5. Free element level 3. Attack level 7. And peak level 1. If you are going to go for a shield build, make sure it's guard 5. And also don't forget to have guard up just in case. Guard 5 is necessary since you only have one slot for shield for this HBG. If you don't invest in guard 5, you'll suffer a lot of chip damage. Then the leftover slots, it's up to you. If you're going for a no shield approach, which means you're going for long barrel, I advise you go for for evade extender, roll away and get to safety while doing stickies on the monster. If you want to go for slugger 5, why not? More peak performance and agitator to increase damage of clusters and wyvern, who is stopping you? Like I said before, the magic of sticky sets are their flexibility. Buff your support ammos like sleep, para if you want easy statuses, slinger ammo if you need more rocks for some reason, go crazy. Here's my current set with the HBG if you're not in the mood to be creative. The mandatory setups that I have mentioned here would just assure you that your sticky damage has already been taken care of. And if you want that LBG setup, I've provided an old video link in the comment section down below. That's it. Hopefully it helped. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you in the next one.